All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Kakadash. Let me give double honors to my possible, apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there that the full comes earth, pushing this word in our racial necessity. Shalom, Mr. Brother Kazaba from the DC Church of Great Millstone. Come back with another quick lesson. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Hashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, those are the names I come and profess, you know, in. Okay, all right, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father in the Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the true name who the world name calls Jesus Christ. Okay, um, you know, and like I said, we come to the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, who are Israelites according to the Bible, and tell you to repent and turn back to the God of the Bible um, while you still can. Okay, we're living in the last days. Um, and you know, the Lord is coming back very soon, quicker than you believe so. Okay. So but today's um um scripture I'm gonna get into real fast, a little quick lesson is um there's something in Psalms nineteen one nineteen Salakia that um just came across me as I was skimming through it really fast. And um, you know, I said, like, you know what, I'm gonna start from one, okay, 'cause this this chapter has a lot of a uh, lot of verses, of over a hundred verses. So I wanna just go through um a couple and Lord's will, you know, this is gonna be like a little part series getting through this song right here and stuff. Um, because this is has a very a lot of beautiful um scriptures that we can expound on. Okay. Um and the first one, of course, we go start at verse one. It's Psalms one nineteen and one. It says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of Yahweh. Okay. So it said blessed, which means you means you're highly favored. Okay. You're favored with the creator. Okay, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, Are the undefiled in the way? Meaning, what your the way means your lifestyle, okay, is not defiled, disgusting, it's not um polluted, okay. All right, all right, so undefiled means what it, it's not polluted, okay. So, blessed are the undefiled in the way, what you know, that what not polluted in their lifestyle. It says, Who walk. In the law of the Lord, okay, who walk again, another way of saying what the way you live, okay, walk in way or consistent with of your of your lifestyle, you know, your lifestyle is of the Lord. You, you follow the law, says commandments the best of your ability, okay, and and you follow what the law the Lord has commanded you on how to conduct yourself as an Israelite, okay, so called Negro, Latino, Native American, and Israelite foreigner who look like the other heathen nations. Okay, but line and lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, it says, <clears throat> uh, verse 2 Blessed are they that keep his testimonies. Okay, it says, and that seek him with the whole heart. So you're blessed again. See, it's saying there's these individuals are going to be blessed, and also these are the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, they're going to clean up their ways and they're not going to be defiled. And their walk, okay, all right. They're gonna be walking in the law of the Lord. Ultimately, they're gonna have first. Right now, we're in the law of faith, okay. You gotta have faith first, believing and trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay. You know, then to the best of your ability, keep what you can keep in the Bible. Do what you can do to show the Lord that you truly do believe, okay. All right. It says verse three. They also do no iniquity. They walk. In his ways, okay, all right. Now we know the scripture said that what this body is subject to sin, okay. So what does it mean by us not doing no iniquity? Well, like I said, we're under the law of faith, okay. All right, we're under the law of faith, man. All right, believing in Yahweh by Shema Shai because it is impossible to please the Lord. All right, it's impossible to get anything out Yahweh by Shema Shai without believing in Him, you know. Is it possible for you know the Lord to do anything for you if you don't believe? Let's get that. This is Hebrews uh matter of fact, Hebrews eleven and one. It says what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It says what? For by it meaning faith, okay, believing in uh, not seen, okay, believing in something that you haven't seen yet, okay. All right, we haven't physically seen the Lord, but we, we see him spiritually with these scriptures. All right. The elect 
they knew the Lord, okay? Because they were chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right, it says what? For by it, meaning faith, the elders obtained a good report, okay? So it's been known that what? They didn't offend the Lord, okay? All right, they had a good report because they had faith in him, okay? It says what? Verse 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So without faith, without believing in the Lord, it is impossible to please him, okay? And the scriptures already tell you what? Anything that's not of faith is sin, okay? So what? Anything not of faith is sin, iniquity. So what? When you go back to that uh, Psalms 119, okay? It says that they do no iniquity, meaning what? They don't, they don't lose that faith. Okay, it says, because we all know that we come short of the glory, you know, <laughs> we sin every day, you know, but, you know, the Lord, you know, is having mercy, man, that grace here, we do what we can do to, to show the Lord that we have, you know, that we do believe in him, okay, you know, but wait, we're not perfect, okay, even though we're striving for it, we're still in these corruptible bodies, it says, but without faith it's impossible to please him. For he that that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a warder of them that diligently seek him. So you got to diligently seek Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, okay? Who the warden calls God in Jesus Christ, okay? Now, so going back to the Psalms 119, let's see. Spocky. It's Psalm 119. And three it says they also do no do no iniquity. They walk in His ways. So they what their lifestyles after the what the Lord has commanded them to be. Okay, or just to trust and believe in His word and keep the commandments to the best of their ability. Okay, this is the whole duty of man. Matter of fact, let's get that since we're quoting it. It's Ecclesiastes twelve should be verse thirteen. Yep, it says what. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter out of everything that you can understand out of the Bible, okay? All right? You know, other than the prophecy, knowing the prophecy is the main thing that we need to know and do is what? To fear Yahweh Bashim Shai and keep his commandments. So fearing the Lord, all right, trusting the Lord, because if you fear the Lord, you believe in him. You, 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 you definitely believe in him, all right? That means you trust him, okay? You trust that. His judgments are true. It says, and keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. Right, we keep his commandments to the best of our ability. Okay? Showing forth that we have faith and fear in him. And this is the whole duty of man. Okay? This is our whole duty of the Israelite man, woman, and child. Okay? So now going back. Let's see. Psalms 119. All right, it says, let's see, verse 4, it says, Thou has commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently, which precepts just goes back to laws, okay? All right, to, and to do it diligently, okay? When you're doing dil something diligently, you're doing it to the utmost best to, of your ability, okay? You know, to diligently, you know, with an earnest intent, with a serious intent, so... You know, brothers and a few sisters that listen, you know, we try to keep the law of the commandments to the best of our ability with a with a grave, serious mindset. Okay. It says, Oh that oh that verse five, oh that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes and ultimately the elect, okay? The elect are gonna be directed. Okay? Because two thirds of our people, okay, of the so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are not going to keep the laws of the Lord, they're not going to obey him, they're not going to believe in him, okay, and they're going to what, be destroyed at the end of the day, okay, all right, but the elect, what they're going to do what they can do to the best of their ability, they're going to show forth that they have faith in the Lord, they believe and they fear him, and the Lord is going to deliver them, it says what, it says, then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments okay and how are we not going to be ashamed what lords will be a part of the elect the elect are not going to be ashamed because they're going to be delivered okay and those chariots are people call ufos all right 
they're gonna be delivered, man. Okay, and and, and two thirds they're gonna be ashamed. Okay, because what they didn't have respect for the Lord, they didn't fear Him, because fear and respect are the same thing. Okay, all right, and they didn't trust in Him. All right, they didn't trust in the Lord's word, His commandments. Okay, so what they're gonna be ashamed when what they're destroyed in the judgment to come. Okay. Which is gonna be in this place, America, man. It's gonna be the worst out of all places, man. All right, on earth, America is gonna be the that that melting pot of nuclear fire and laser beams of the chariots, man. Okay, all right, and two thirds are gonna fall into that. Okay, and you know what? They're not gonna uh, turn back to the Lord and be condemned with that fire. Okay, so I just want to quickly get that in the spirit. I guess, you know, do six verses. Matter of fact, we'll do one more. Keep it seven. Seven. Felicia. <laughs> Let's see. Um, verse seven. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart. I will, so when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. The Lord is teaching us his righteousness now and his righteous judgments now. Okay. All right. And what the elect, they're praising him. Okay. You know. Lord's will, we be a part of that number. All right. So with that, hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel that they give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakakadash, that they get double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the full comes of pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom.